What's going on guys? Today I'm reviewing the CTM AP7 kit for the AAP01 after plenty of time testing it out on the field. I think there are two main reasons you might be looking at this kit for purchase. Either you're like me and you want to take your AAP01 from a pistol to a primary gas blowback platform, or you just really want a gas blowback MP7. To that I'll just say yes. I own the KWA Gas Blowback MP7, and as awesome as it is, I do feel it's an expensive platform to run if you want a full set of mags, and from my personal experience, it kept needing maintenance and replacement parts, which just got tedious. I think this AAP01 conversion kit is a much better option if you can deal with the slight angle of the pistol grip. As from my understanding, that's really the only difference between the AP7 kit and the real MP7 specs. So diving right in, this kit is extremely fun to use. For the features of the AP7 conversion kit, it has a functioning charging handle, which feels really good in my opinion, especially for plastic on plastic contact. It utilizes the stock AAP01 externals to securely lock the pistol into the kit, provides top, sides, and bottom rail space for optics, lights, grips, and of course, scope cams. It has all the features of the MP7 minus the selector switch. It's extremely light, it has a three position retractable stock. It has a foldable Picatinny grip, comes in multiple colors, has options for sling placement, and the overall build quality is very solid. And I think it's vital that you can still break down the AAP01 as usual without any issue once it's fully assembled inside the AP7 kit. As far as assembly goes, it was as easy as removing the rear sight from the AAP01, replacing it with the provided AP7 mount and hardware, adding the AP7 charging handle latch to the bolt, removing the AP7 rear cap, sliding in the AAP01 with the AP7 mount, securing the AAP01 in place with the provided AP7 hardware, replacing the cap, adding the AP7 muzzle piece, I purchased the threaded muzzle piece for an additional $15 or so, so I could run any muzzle device or tracer unit I want. I do think this should be included with the standard kit, as opposed to just the standard muzzle device. And then I just added all my attachments. Once I had my optic, scope cam, and accessories on the AP7, I really started to love the platform. During use, it felt exactly like running an MP7. It was extremely light and comfortable, and very easy to shoulder and find my red dot, especially in stressful situations. As well as switching the rifle to my offhand, felt natural and familiar. With an internally upgraded AAP01 sitting inside of it, I could feel the benefits of my longer inner barrel performing at a higher FPS, all while hidden beneath the tactical MP7 visuals. I had so many people asking me about this gun on the field, and every single one of them were extremely surprised to find out it was just a pistol beneath it all. However, for my negative thoughts about this kit, I think there are only two. My main gripe is that the retractable stock has a little bit of give to it when it's extended in the longest position. I just felt some bounce every now and then when shouldering the platform, but this did have little to no effect on my desire to run it. And secondly, this kit just makes changing the firing mode a little bit tougher as the fire selector now sits inside of the AP7 conversion kit. I rarely switch firing modes on the field as I primarily play in semi-auto, but when I did, it took me just a few extra seconds to get there, especially with gloves on. Once again, not too big of a deal for me, but when I think about improvements that could be made to the AP7 kit, these two float to the top. I really do love the versatility of the AAP01, I mean I am exploring all the options for conversion kits and after testing three of them already, this one definitely sits at the top of the list. I loved that it wasn't just another expensive 3D printed kit and that it came in a handful of colors. The two-tone gray and black to me look amazing, and I do think once it's all decked out, the AP7 conversion kit provides the performance of the AAP01 in the skin of an MP7, with an abundance of aftermarket parts, allowing for virtually any playstyle. I personally went for the high FPS, accurate semi-auto Milsim build, and it was fantastic. I had so much fun playing with this thing in outdoor games, but at the same time, if the AAP-01 inside was more focused on consistency at higher rates of fire, I could see the AP-7 kit lending itself to an absolutely nasty full-auto SMG build. The possibilities are just near endless, depending on how you build your AAP-01 internally. I was exploring the use of the AAP-01 as a primary platform for Milsim style events, and this setup has definitely earned the stamp of approval. I love the idea of an HPA powered, accurate and reliable gas blowback platform as a primary rifle during immersive military simulation events. 
This kit will definitely find its way into my travel bag as a reliable backup or just an extremely fun to run primary platform when stealth is out the window. I hope this gives you something to chew on if you were on the fence about this kit. I haven't run it indoors yet, but my gut tells me it will absolutely thrive in CQB situations, especially with a full auto oriented AAP inside of it. I have a brand new AAP01 carbine build video in the works using M4 rails and buffer tubes to turn the AAP01 into an even larger primary rifle. So be sure to subscribe here if you want to check out that build when it drops. As always guys, thanks for checking out the video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.